Hey Katerina, this is a fun question. The concept behind all this is uh, centripetal acceleration. So let's kind of break down what's what's happening in this problem. So you're driving your car, you're looking at the speedometer, and you're keeping a steady 30 miles per hour as you're going around this turn. Now remember that all a speedometer reads is your speed going straight. Doesn't matter how the car is pointed, it's always, it's just measuring how much, how, how uh, fast uh, in the forward direction are you going. And so as you first round the turn, you know, you start out in one direction and uh, point in one direction, going 30 miles per hour. And then as you make your way through the turn, you know, your pointing of the vehicle is going to change, but it's still going to read 30 miles per hour. And, you know, as you get close to finishing the turn, uh, it's going to be pointed in a completely different direction. But it's, your speedometer is still going to read 30 miles per hour. Now, while your speed is not changing, your direction is. So technically, uh, your velocity is changing. Because remember, velocity is magnitude, in this case speed, plus direction. So, Wherever there is a change in velocity, there's got to be an acceleration. And in this case, your acceleration is uh, pointed inward. And the reason for this is that the road, as you are making this turn, is pushing you uh, into the turn. And this is, in fact, why turns are, uh, on, most, on many roads, banked, um, is to help the road push you into the turn. So you've got an acceleration that's directed into, uh, yeah, into this turn. And that uh, acceleration is because your velocity is changing. So, uh, and it's this acceleration that uh, the passenger in this problem, your mother, is uh, measuring uh, with whatever device she has uh, in her lap. So uh, the thing to remember now is that uh, the equation for centripetal acceleration is uh, the velocity, or rather the uh, speed, right, squared, divided by uh, your radius. So um, after doing some algebra, we can uh, get it so that uh, the radius of the turn is equal to uh, the velocity uh, squared divided by your uh, acceleration that is measured. And that's it. So the only caveat I'm going to warn you about is that um, this velocity, you're going to have to uh, change your units because, right, you're given speed, you're reading your speed as miles per hour, but uh, the acceleration is being measured as meters per second squared. So you're, there's going to be a little bit of unit conversion there, um, and I'm going to let you do all the math on this, but um, I hope this helps clear up uh, kind of what's going on in this problem and how you can find the radius of the turn knowing your speed and the acceleration that you're feeling as you're making that turn. So thanks again. Good luck.